welcome vlog guys and today is a freaking amazing day i was dying to show you this vlog to tell you what we're gonna do probably already see it in the title or in the thumbnail and yeah it's it's the day my ktm duke 790 stunt bike is already heavily tuned uh, with high-end parts but there is still room for improvement the lightest possible big CC stunt bike in the game in the whole world in the whole universe and uh, my opinion actually is that the stunt game in the recent years really skyrocketed the level of the trick is freaking crazy but in my opinion also the technology of the bikes didn't follow up uh, to that level because the bikes are still heavy uh, okay we have some CNC machine parts uh, on, on the market but there is still a lot of room for improvement and I learned that from the guys from FMX uh, if I remember that was Levi Sherwood and Tom Paget that told the same thing uh, the tricks were really really big but the bikes felt really heavy and when they changed uh, this thing and put a lot of carbon parts and CNC machine part the bikes went from 100 kilos to 70 kilos and voila there were a lot of new tricks so they changed the, totally the game of FMX and that's our goal so our goal is to make this bike as light as possible and we're gonna see if we can learn and make some new tricks in the future so Let's lighten up the bike. Drum rolls, please. <laughs> Boom! Here it is. Oh, Nusha. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. And you? How is your first day at our uh, at Bagrush performance? Oh, awesome. Awesome? Yeah. I paid her for that to tell me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nusha is our new team member and what is your job to explain our viewers? My job is logistic. I get your order. And I <laughs> and make sure <laughs> my job okay. is to take your order okay. and ship in 24 hours. Man, that was smooth. Good job. Thank you, Nusha. See you later. Okay, this is our rotor box box. And Dominic, how do you know that it's a high quality part? You see it already on the box, on the branding. Yeah, close. Yeah, actually, that's that's what I wanted to hear. Usually, when you have a high quality product, it's also how it's packed and uh, what is the packaging. So let's open the box and let's see if this is true. Man, so excited, eh? Woo! First ever carbon wheels. I never have them in my hands. I just saw them on the pictures. And okay, so it's already looking promising. What's that? Oh, a brand new T-shirt. Thank you for that Rotobox team. Stickers, stickers are always good. Probably a catalog. I hope future, in the future there will be our bike in the catalog. Okay, here are the boxes. Oh my God, that's so... Oh my God. Check this, man. Let me put this. I don't even feel it in the hand. Oh my God. Even with my logo here. So they're custom. Oh my God. And this is, let me put this. That's sick, huh? What do you say? Check this. I love the color. And, the, and it's even different the carbon style, forged. And uh, I don't know how you call this, but we're gonna come back to this technology later on. But what I like is that you see this logo here? <laughs> I told them just that I want some orange on the wheel, so they really made a nice design here. But I didn't know that they're gonna add my uh, logo. I like the packaging, so it's true, right? If you buy a high quality part, Dominic, Usually the packaging is also this way, so I love how they pack the wheels. It's like being presented in a shopping window, right? It looks professional. You could have it just like that in the living room next to the TV. Of <laughs> okay, Ooh. this is a nice system how you open this up. Oh my god. It's, it's, feel like, it? a, it's like a suitcase for the... For when you go traveling. Hey, check this. I don't feel it. Do you feel oh. crazy, huh? I really it's like unbelievable. It. This, I don't even feel it, check this. I don't even flex my muscles to do that. Amazing. And what I saw on the Rotobox, 
they have a lot of possibilities to customize your own wheel so they have a nice system where you can customize the edge of the rim the spokes they have many different models of the carbon wheels so those are the bullet ones the brand new um, model and you can also adjust the choose the colors of your hubs you can choose the color of the how you call this of the valve where you put the air for the tire and yeah there's many custom possibilities so it's amazing check this they even put the logo inside, inside. that's so cool man uh, i love this kind of stuff where you can you you don't see it but you know that it's there so it's really cool thanks guys a really amazing job wrote the box team i'm super happy thank you maya for this and man i cannot wait to put this on the on the bike let me open the rear wheel Man, this also looks nice. Oh my god, they... Man, this is so light. Rotobox says that it drops the weight up to 50% if you compare it to the OEM uh, wheel on the, on the Duke 790. So, I already feel it, it's so light. There are some other accessories, I probably bolts and so on. I'm not gonna talk a lot, but before we go uh, mount it on the bike, I suggest that we measure the weight of the existing setup that we have now, which are the, with the OEM wheels. And we're gonna go over to our neighbor here and we're gonna weight the bike and then we can compare when we finished with the build, the weight difference. Let's do that. Okay, bike is on the scale. Need to step down. Okay, it says 182 kilograms. This is the current status, so it's not so bad, but we can definitely drop it. So how much gonna be the difference? We're gonna see on the end of the build. So let's go back to the garage. Let's start first with the rear wheel. supposed to be the lightest stunt bike in the world no supposed to be it will be <laughs> it's not yet yes okay but it will be the lightest stunt bike on the planet definitely uh, we are working on that i have few ideas but i don't know everything so don't our fans should help us to build that bike what do you say for sure so what i want to say is maybe you guys have an idea how to make that bike even lighter so you can help me and drop some ideas in the comments below and we're gonna read them and maybe we find a cool idea how we can do some upgrades in the future and yeah thank you for the advices already in front so let's get going next thing we need to mount the sprocket the rotobox wheels come with their own sprocket but when it's a stunt bike you need to have a bigger sprocket so we machined one of uh, 56 tooth sprocket that fits to the rotobox wheels and we got some awesome titanium bolts super light it comes also with the uh, wheels and also this nice machined uh, sprocket carrier so it's it's very easy to mount just press it in sprocket on and the bolts ah before i do i have here a user manual I need to check 60 newton meters of torque Tighten up the bolts on sprocket carry. Okay, 60 newton meters. Okay, how is the riding with the uh, SMC going? I don't know yet. I just managed to put the tires on, on it. It's still brings spanking you. Uh, it's not a good idea to get three bikes 
at the brand same new time. bikes at the same time because you will never have enough time to ride all of them three beside other bikes so it's still brand new actually we are doing some R&D on it so we're gonna launch some new products for that bike also a sticker kit and a lot of other things and also a double brake system we will be the first ones in the whole world, Dominic, to have a stunt brake setup uh, for everybody on the market. That's cool, right? Nice. Okay, let's yeah. go. Okay, let's go finish the rear rear brake. It's done, Dominic. Rear wheel is done. Let's move to the front. Hey Rock, Yo. did you know that this rim is uh, from three different materials and it's also a wire inside? This is what it says in catalog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I know because uh, before we do every vlog, I try to inform myself about the products that we did and it was nothing different than here. So you already have read the manual guide? I, I read a bit because I was checking the manual and the catalog, but the Rotobox engineer told me that they have a special system when they finishing up the wheel, the final shape, you know. Um, usually the other manufacturers that do also carbon wheels, they cut away the fiber or machine it away with a CNC machine. So they are weakening up this... Uh, wait, I'm gonna take it out of the machine. So they are weakening up the edge because they are machining it away. <clears throat> but what Rotobox did, you don't see it now here, but inside of that edge is a steel wire. They wrap around the carbon fiber around the steel wire and this is how they close down the, uh, the wheel. So it's like a one piece and with that you, they are stiffening up the whole rim and the whole rim is much more stronger. So they are not weakening up by cutting away the fiber. So that's, they told me that this is very important uh, in this technology what they have and that's why their carbon wheels are something else than everybody else is uh, offering uh, now on the market. So interesting, right? Yeah. So how do you mean three? So we have one steel. Ah, you mean what we said before, the forged carbon. So it's, as you see, it doesn't have the, what everybody is actually used to the um, pattern that the, uh, that the carbon has. So this is the normal pattern that we know. Then this is the inside, the spokes are forged. So that means the carbon is pressed and it's not because of the style, but it's because of the, it's, uh, it needs to be like that. So it holds up the energy. It doesn't explode under high pressure and so on. So it's, made because it needs to be done like that so it's a really high-tech thing but the pressed one i think looks really like awesome right yeah for this me, one. I, I prefer more this one because it's something that we are not used and i like this kind of a uh, texture uh, texture exactly yeah yeah, yeah. that's uh, do you have some other do you have some other information <laughs> <laughs> hey dominic you want to see a magic trick show me three two one Whoa. Whoa. done I think you don't need that machine anymore. No, we don't need Joe, Mr. Joe anymore. We can just throw the tires on the rim. <laughs> okay. Good trick. Oh my God, man. This is so light. Let me check. That's, that's a huge difference, man. You need to try it. So that's the stock okay. and that's the carbon one. It's totally different. Right? Sure. Like the carbon is like you're just holding the rubber, the tire. And the stock one is you feel the, also the rim. It's really half of the weight. Yeah, I mean, we will not uh, measure it now, but we're gonna measure the boat wheels later yeah. on. My arm is getting but, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's mount it. Okay, it's your turn. You wanna do the magic trick? <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> no, don't throw it. Okay, no, let's not do that here. <laughs> Wheels, rear, front, it's on. 
Let's go to the scale. Let's see what uh, if we have any difference. What do you say? Will we have? For sure. For sure. That's a stupid question. <laughs> how much? How much? I you think say? Uh, three kilo lighter. Three kilogram. I go for six kilogram. Let's see. Okay. Moment of truth, Dominic. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Bike is on the scale. Scale is there. Three, two, one. How much you think? I said three. You three kilo? Yeah. Okay, you won. 178, which is four kilo difference. Four freaking kilos. That's amazing, man. Three weeks later. Oh! So the Rotobox bullet wheels are on. Yes, Dominic. And now it's time to test, right? To test them, yeah. Let's go. You're still too fast. Also <laughs> switch back. No, that, that uh, was slow. Hey, uh, yeah, I well. have idea. Uh, do you love Domino's? What do you mean? The pizza or the game? No, the game, the game. Uh, yeah, what was a long time I played it. Yeah. Okay, I see some uh, pallets down there. So okay. let's go and I'm gonna give you a challenge. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, headlands. Explain us what this should be. So I see a lot of pallets yeah okay dominoes so what should i do yeah so you can see you have to run this over so you're gonna come on your front wheel do Stop a it. back switch and bam back switch you call this trick a back switch six seven years of filming we call this 180 stoppy so i'm gonna hit the first pallet and then let's see the effect okay And he said, said this is an easy trick. Yeah, I told you, can you please give me next time a harder challenge? Here you go, damn. Yeah, this happens when you ride a bike for five hours straight. My back hurts everything. These are just stunt riders excuses. And now he's scared. He is scared. Oh my god, that's so e such an easy trick, but I cannot do it. Okay, last try, third round. One, two, three, go! Okay, it was not a 
first try, but still. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. I like this kind of games, man. Last time we did the balls. If you didn't watch that uh, short clip on our Instagram channel or Facebook, the short clips we always post on, on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Uh, but we did a similar trick with the uh, with the colorful balls with the drift video. You you should check uh, this out. Here's some short intro. Go and check it out. Okay, Dominic, let's finish the vlog. Oh, Dominic, what do you say? Enough for today, huh? For sure. The Woo. rain also catch us a little bit. A bit, yeah. So today wasn't really a perfect day. Actually, we woke up at four in the morning, went to a location on the other side of our country, started to rain, turn around, go back home and did the plan B. So it was uh, not really uh, the best weather today, but we did it. Uh, guys, this is the end of the vlog. So I would like to thank Rotobox for hooking me up with the carbon wheels. They are definitely helping me now in the last three weeks. I really had time to test them out. I even crashed the curb I think like two three times usually I bent my rim so I'm changing a lot of front rims and the carbon wheel didn't break so it's definitely holding up all the stress that I'm doing with a stunt riding and they really look slim and people would think this is gonna break definitely but no it's really freaking strong uh, rim probably you are now asking yourself rock where is helping this in stunt riding so what I could feel in the last three weeks is actually when I turn or like do the 180 slides or kangaroo stoppies so all the tricks that I'm throwing my bike fast around I can really feel especially on the back side uh, that the bike is a bit lighter uh, also when I do a big drift and I pull up in the in the wheelie so the rotational mass I don't know how to explain but it feels lighter definitely of course these rims makes more sense in in racing we're gonna probably test them also on my 890 Duke to, to see if they make also a faster lap because the rotational mass is more crucial in, in racing and you can turn around and throw your bike faster. So beside that they are looking amazing. I, I hope you agree guys. But also the rims are crucial in our stunt build because we are building the lightest stunt bike on the planet and they are definitely a good start so we saved four kilos uh, and yeah we're gonna update the bike soon with new parts lighter parts we're gonna build some uh, custom parts uh, so a lot of build-offs are coming up you know as you know st stunt bikes are never finished they're always a project that is going on be ready guys uh, invite some friends to watch our vlogs thank you for subscribing and once again thank you Roto box for supporting and yeah guys see you in the next vlog until then rock, rock on, on.